Hey guys, it's Matt here. Welcome back. First off, just want to say thank you so much for all the subscribers. We're at 37,400, so if we could increase that number, it would be greatly appreciated. Definitely do hit subscribe. But today, we are doing the top 10 Android apps of October for 2019. So without any further ado, let's just go straight into the video. Okay, so the first app up is Cleanbox. This is a great app if your inbox is completely cluttered with a bunch of stuff that you don't really care about. I featured a similar app last month, however, this one just seems a little bit cleaner, a little bit more polished, and it seems to pick up a lot more emails, and I've actually unsubscribed from a lot more than I did have before. But it's pretty simple, you just log in and then it shows all your emails here. So from each one of these email addresses, you can see at the side how many times you've actually looked at an email from them, and also how many times you've actually gotten an email. So as you can see, most of them are 1 and 2%, so I'm going to want to remove those. So all this you do is select one of the senders and you get the option to unsubscribe. So the option in the middle simply just goes ahead and unsubscribes you from the newsletter and deletes all of those emails. So technically you will be still subscribed to the sender. And then the last option simply keeps them where they are. Jumping over to the statistics page, you can actually go ahead and see how many email addresses you've unsubscribed from. There's an option in here to add more mailboxes. So, you know, if you wanna clear out your old Outlook or your old 365 account from your student address, you can go ahead and do that. And there's also an option to go ahead and share the statistics with your friends because who doesn't care about who you've unsubscribed to on your emails? But yeah, realistically, this is absolutely amazing if you just are too overwhelmed by all of the junk emails that you have and you really just don't care about them all and they're emails you subscribe to for just making an account for one hour to do something then this is perfect. It simply clears all of that out, clears all the junk, keeps all the things you care about. And when you open your inbox, you can see all the relevant information that's just most important to you. Okay, so coming in at app number two is Drunk Locker. This is perfect for if you're going out to a club or a bar, or even if your friends are just annoying and they're gonna take your phone and message people. This is great. So it is free. The link will be down below again to all these apps, but this one is exceptionally good because you can put in a time and date, so when you're gonna go out, and basically it will set restrictions on certain apps that you choose, and you know it will ask you which sort of questions you want, logical, whether you want general questions, or simply just a reminder, which probably isn't enough, let's be honest. And then you simply go ahead and log in, you add an emergency contact, and then you simply add a passcode. So you can go ahead and tweak the settings. Once you're in, you can enable it for pretty much any app and it will ask you some questions when you go in and it's trying to stop you or your drunk friends from logging into your phone. And then when we try open messenger, it's not gonna let us. It's gonna ask us a logical question. We're not gonna know a logical answer because we're drunk. So we're not gonna be able to get into the app, which is perfect for when you're out and you really don't wanna message your ex or just some random guy about anything. You really just wanna have a good time with your friends. So download this app. Number three is a lifesaver, it's called AccuBattery. So realistically, your phone battery does depreciate over time. It's got a limited amount of battery cycles. And when you charge it above 80%, it's gonna damage that and count as a cycle. So you're gonna lose charge, you're gonna lose percentage. And I was curious how to find this out because on an iPhone, it does tell you. And I just wanted to know. So I, I got this app and it does take a little bit of time to calibrate, but it tells you how much battery health you have. So. Mine's pretty bad, it's at 89%. I do charge my phone a lot, I guess. Um, I have a charger in my car, so, you know, it's definitely wearing a lot on my battery. It does tell you how much screen on time you're gonna get. It tells you, realistically, how much screen off time. It does help you out. It does remind you when you charge above 80% that it's gonna wear your cycle. So yeah, it's a really cool app for that. Next up is Glitch Lab. This one's actually really nice if you're into photo editing or you like vector art and that sort of kind of crazy artwork. This is something really nice to try out. You import a photo, you have a bunch of filters which add glitch effects and warping and distortions and it just looks really nice to me. I've got this sort of circle distortion and you can add layers on top of it and colors and graphs and bars and you can even add code if you want and it just really looks nice and I feel like this would make a good wallpaper. Up next is Notify Buddy. Do you guys who have the S10 Plus or, or those new phones with the infinity screen or full screen which don't have the notification light, well, you can actually download this app and it will bring back that LED notification light. You can go and enable it for whichever apps you want. You can change how long the light is on for. You can change the color of it and also the position and the size, which is just dope. Really do miss this on my S10 Plus, so I'm super happy to find this app. It's free. 
go get it if you missed the notification LED, and also go leave a thumbs up down below. Up next is VMOS, I think that's how you say it. It's like a virtual machine for Android, which is actually really surprisingly cool. So you have a rooted virtual machine and you can run rooted apps. You can do a lot with it and it's really customizable. You can log in with your Google account. It's a full-fledged Android device. It's not in the cloud, it's actually on your phone. So really, really nice. Um, it has pretty much all the functionality of just a standard Android device and it is stock. It's got your navigation bar, your navigation buttons all that stock settings you can tweak around. So if you guys need this for any reason, definitely go check it out. It's even just fun to play around with in case you don't want to screw up your phone. And next up is Call of Duty. Definitely spent a long period of time playing this throughout my whole life since I was at least nine years old, let's be honest. And now it's come to mobile. And you know, I know what you're thinking. It's probably, it's probably not that good. It's probably hard to control. Who likes playing games like this on a touch screen? It's horrible. Well, you're actually wrong, because this is actually surprisingly really, really good. I would definitely check this out, it's free. Maybe it does take a little bit of time to download, but once it's installed, it's freaking cool. You can play multiplayer, battle royale, and it's also bringing out a zombie mode. It's got so many guns, so much you can do with it, and pretty much it just plays exactly like you would expect it to. It plays exactly like COD, it's got that feel. It's really awesome for sniping. If you wanna have a private quickscope match, definitely DM me. But this is a really good game and I'm not really into games too much, but I must recommend you guys check this out. It's absolutely killer. And also really cool if you're bored in a club. Now, wallpaper apps are pretty much one of the most important things for me. I do change them a lot. And Wallpy is a great one if you're looking for wallpapers that are stock on various different devices. For example, the iPhone, the new Pixel 4. If you're looking for something like Samsung S10, Note 10, you can find all the stock wallpapers within this app and they're super high quality. You can go ahead and add blur effects and you can download them or just set them directly in the app. And you also have this mode which allows them to automatically change day to day or hourly and there's some pretty cool settings for themes you can add a dark mode to the actual app but realistically we're just interested in the wallpapers and I personally think they're really sick definitely do check it out if you like those crispy stock wallpapers up next is volume panel now I really like on iOS 13 how you have that sort of volume slider at the side near the volume rocker and so I downloaded this app it allows you to change your ringer and your media volume and you can sort of position it anywhere you want, but personally to me, I just think it's a little bit more minimal. And I really do like having it on the left there at the top, just seems a little bit more practical than right across the middle of the screen. Samsung's is a bit big, the bar, so when I'm watching a YouTube video and I'm reading the comments and change the volume, it blocks the video. But you can customize the colors and it's just quite nice to have. And then the last app up is Castro. This one is really awesome if you wanna see some of your system settings or you just wanna see some of the sensors on your phone and you can see some specs about your camera, what megapixels it is, how much it can do like video wise, like 4K, the maximum frame rate, you can view the aperture, the maximum ISO, like the full range. You can view a lot of information, even about the battery or even just like the sensors, like the proximity sensor, the gyroscope, it also has a light sensor which you can view and I'm more on the techie side than most YouTubers um, so I do really like specs and technical details so for me this is a absolute must-have app. Anyway guys that's my top 10 apps I really hope you did enjoy. If you didn't go ahead and hit the dislike button twice or you can go ahead and like, subscribe and comment down below. Thank you guys, peace out. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in.